There are millions of children in slums around the world, a good number of them from indigent homes and without any real hope. But just how far can art be used to transform slum children and make them become agents of change? And that's what a determined young lady wanted to find out with the use of theatre to make meaning out of the lives of hundreds of underprivileged and homeless children. Ola Awakon Sunday special is on Ihuama Harrison and her journey with the gifted steppers. According to available statistics, 69% of Nigerians live below the poverty line and parents who fall into this category find it difficult to provide education, shelter and food for their children most of whom eventually become hooligans, prostitutes, destitute, beggars, street hawkers in the society. These people are mostly found in slums. One peculiar case I came across in the Korodu area of Lagos while I visited Gifted Steppers, the children theatre group in focus, is the story of the family of these children who are now members of the academy hoping to become artistic giants in the future. This is Jimo Alaba. She lives here with her husband and seven children. They have been moving from one uncompleted building to the other for more than nine years just to have a space to call home. Comfort to the family is luxury. Either tortured by the sun or drenched by the rain, the Jimo family cares less. The owner of this building has threatened to go diabolical if they fail to quit in the shortest possible time. The family is already looking out for another uncompleted building to move to. They are just one out of the millions of families with similar situation reflecting the reality of the critical poverty status in some parts of Nigeria. What is the connection between the Jimo family and the Gifted Steppers Theatre Academy? Ihuoma Harrison has taken up three of this woman's children who are now members of her group. She made sure they now go to school on scholarship. The children in the near future may use the proceeds from theatre shows to bring their family out of poverty like what Miss Ihuoma has done to her own family. The predicament of the family is like a mirror of what she went through while growing up before her involvement in the theatre profession brought a semblance of hope and laughter to her family. These children are among the many with similar stories who were picked from white sand area of Ijora, Elijah in Ibutemeta and Ikurudu to be given hope they now live with Hihioma Harrison in this house that also serves as rehearsal venue. On my first visit, they did some performances for me to see. They may look so young with innocent faces, timid, but their vibrancy and energetic dissipation of theatrical performance on stage has endeared them to many notable people. Some have become professionals while others are still incubating. The children are the drummers, the dancers, and the singers. Yes, I drum, I dance, I act, I sing. While their instructor makes sure they follow through the right way. After all, she is also a total theatre arts performer. Ihuoma came from a family where survival was synonymous with taking an elephant through the eyes of a needle. Life was difficult for I and my siblings and my mother also. Life was hell for us. Then suddenly, one early morning by 5 a.m., I will never forget, the caretaker came and threw our things outside. My mother and my mother and a few of my siblings were still sleeping in the church. My mother took I and my two younger ones to one of my aunties' place, we started staying there, then the other ones were not sleeping outside. So life was hell. I've been an artist of the National Truth for nine years. 
when she got into the theater professionally, she promised to use her knowledge to take her immediate family out of poverty, as well as touch the lives of many out of school, hopeless and less privileged children. If this art could help me go to school, if this art could clothe me, feed me, accommodate me and my siblings, then the art could help every other less privileged child out there, every other child that was like me. That's why I said to go to the streets to help street kids. Even if I don't have much, but at least... But the journey has not been easy. As this lady is trying to positively impact these children, some of her neighbors have arrested and taken her to court for disturbing the peace of the environment. This is one of the prices she is paying to give a new life to these children. The landlord of this house, this compound, took my auntie to court because he said that the don that we use to raise is disturbing him. Security-wise, it has not been easy because I'm the only one staying with the kids. I'm the only one taking care of them. I'm their mother, I'm their father, their cook, their nurse, I'm their teacher, everything. It has not been easy. You know, even the environment, God is the greatest security. We are pleading, we really need support. I can't do this alone. If I say I can do it alone, I'm lying. This dance has made me travel to the country, made me go to different places. This dance helped me to pay my school fees. I, I started paying for our house rent at home. And we plan going to International Jump Festival in Egypt. One, two, three, go! Virtually all the children are good at drumming. I was privileged to see a drum ensemble performance. My training as a theater artist also was put to test again as I took the drum stick to romance the drum. of arts can be felt in the lives of those children. They are not street hawkers because of the arts. They are not destitute because of the arts. They are not homeless because of the arts. They can now go to school because of the arts. Marvelous Andy is one of the youngest here. She is five years old. I was living in my son. I know I've made to sleep. She and others have pathetic stories before Auntie Omar, as she's fondly called, quickly came to their rescue. My mom didn't have money. She had to look for money to feed us. And I'm not going to school. No slippers. I'm not going to wear slippers. I'll be walking empty. Like anything I see on the floor, I'll, I'll pick the thing. Guys, I'll, my mom didn't see. And my auntie, Auntie Omar. My dad is a um, driver. and. And when we came to this Lagos, he didn't have house. He used to sleep in the bus. So we too, when we came, we now joined him sleeping there. All his friends we see us, they, they will start busy my dad. our house. So we don't have any place to sleep. We now went to where they are playing ball, field. Well, we not slept there, we are not taking their house where we'll be staying. They now go to school through the support of individuals and groups. Some are already on scholarship. Manti has given me good clothes, shelter. She has taken me to school, then now I can read and write. It is difficult to resist watching these children perform on stage, given the confidence and passion they display in their performances. On 
the second day of my visit, I took note of my journey through the bumpy roads to the west end of Ikorudu, where the group is situated. Staying here, this is a, a three-bedroom flat. The girls are in, in one room, the boys in a room. In a room, we have um, the girls staying ten in that room, while the boys, there are ten also in that room. And this is where their rooms are. Okay, so let's, yeah. let's have a look at the okay. condition of the rooms. There are no fans in the girls' room. We need fans for proper ventilation because, as you can see, the windows here also don't have nets. We need nets for, for, for the... the mosquitoes. Exactly, the mosquitoes at night. Is on, I, we keep buying fleets every day, like every night. This is the boys' room. We still need more wardrobes for them because they still put their clothes in the sack bags and they suck it under the bed. You know, for 10 boys, we check on that, these are their clothes. Who is on duty? Who is to wash the plates? She is not married yet, but expresses her fulfillment in the way the children grow in knowledge and the arts. These kids, before, they don't know what letter I is. They don't know what letter A is. They don't know. But with time, now, you can, if you ask some of them, they can, they can read, they can write. The, legs should, should go. the sitting room is used for rehearsals, Beautiful. pep talk, and academic Good. purposes. They do house shows and learn as the children are groomed in emotional, physical, academic, and theatrical developments. I tell my kids, if you don't do well in school, I won't allow you to dance. If you have a performance, you won't go on stage to perform. If you fail your detection in school, you are going to be benched. So education first. When I was in secondary school, I was the head girl of my school. Art did not, did not disturb me. So you must do well in school before you can be the number one in dance. She wants the government to embrace the arts with their hearts by investing heavily in it. Art is in every profession. If the government can embrace the art with all their hearts, not just with one hand, because sincerely the art has done so many things to, to so many communities. Don't be tired, dance, dance, don't be tired. I'm looking at these kids, I'm looking at their future, where they can be greater than I. They will say, yes, the art helped me. Even she did not bring us here, I don't know how I could have been by now and what could have happened to me by now. And now, I'm not better than before. A child will be great in anything that a child is doing, that she will not marry a bad husband. I do believe that God is, God is going to bless you. I'm sure about that. He's going to bless you. But when he blesses you, don't forget to do what? Don't forget to help every other kid out there that was once like you. One thing is certain, these children in the near future will become assets to the nation and will forever be grateful to Ihioma Harrison for taking up the bold initiative as a woman in birthing gifted steppers to give a new life and new beginning to hundreds of underprivileged children. Adaba. Aren't they truly gifted steppers? Awama steppers, baby, baby. Shama, come back, come back, come back. Watch your space. You are the middle, come back. Yeah. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.